people, 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 people. Que pasa, sapa, say what they do. Now the first thing that is popping in the news is that we see that the JCF, Jamaica Constabulary Force, and specifically the Popo High Command, they have indirectly responded to a video that I put out on social media, YouTube to be specific. Now in that video, I said that there was an inspector and there was a video of this inspector allegedly and she was doing all sorts of stuff and I said that persons are supposed to be careful in what they do and any and everybody can do whatever they so choose in the privacy of their bedroom whatever goes on in the bedroom stays in the bedroom however people we see some people kind of get careless whether it is them or their partner whether there is some sort of changes in the relationship and somebody decides to be very vindictive so people take a listen take a look to exactly what i said in that video and then i am going to let you hear the response of the popo high commission take a listen take a look please be very careful and i understand that whatever one does in their bedroom it is their business however why do you videotape it why are you so careless and reckless with whatever activity is going on in your bedroom and also your career and also your personal life. Keep that thing to yourself. Don't get it exposed or don't let it get exposed so therefore people in the public sphere can see it because at the end of the day, you are jeopardizing your, 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 your career, you're jeopardizing your privacy. So therefore, do the right thing. Don't make it get in the hands of persons like me. And you know that once I put it out, it is out because everybody are going to follow. So people, at the end of the day, I am going to let this one pass. So therefore, I am issuing out a warning. So therefore, the upper ranking members of the JCF or the JDF, please keep some sort of meeting and make your people them know. So be very careful about these things because it could be detrimental to your privacy and also your career. Point blank and period. So people, like when I talk, I always said whatever I say, it is just my views, it is not the gospel. However, people, you have some bloggers whenever they speak. Persons in high places, they listen because I speak facts. I don't come with any sorts of fairy tale and any sort of Disney World or any sorts of pixel thing. I speak facts, I kick the truth. So anyways, people, the Popo I Commission, they have responded. And people, if you look at your screen, you'll see exactly what I am speaking about. Because you know that I come with the facts, I come with the receipts, I come with the bills. Rete, lele, blue, blah, bling. So it is said, the Popo High Commission, they are concerned about its members tarnishing the images, the likeness, the career of female members. And specifically, they spoke about an inspector. And they said that these persons are attaching images and names to all sorts of pornographic videos on social media when that person is not the person or even if that person is the person it is some sort of cyber crime because you cannot be trying to defame somebody's character and career just for your own personal pleasure now people the truth and the fact is that as a blogger it is my job to put out stuff out there to make sure that people know that listen don't do this or else there is going to be consequences so therefore i don't have a deliberate attempt to harm anybody or tarnish anybody it is just word for the wise i am speaking about tough love and people the truth and the fact is that you have persons that are out there and obviously we see that there has been quite a few videos with the Niamin squad with the female squad and then again with an inspector allegedly from some sort of place we are talking about central Popo station nobody can validate or verify however people like I said there are pictures out there of somebody in an inspector uniform and that person was also in the video doing all sorts of taboo stuff so people I say this to say that it is not like the videos are not out there it is not like these popo, these squaddies, these inspectors are not getting careless and leaving themselves reckless out there. 
four people upon social media for exposing. So at the end of the day, like I always said, don't start no ish, won't be any sorts of ish. So therefore, if you don't put yourself out there loosely, nobody can get any sorts of video or any sorts of picture. So people, me just I say, be mindful, be very careful, because persons out there, they are very vindictive. And people do anything just about for anything, for all sorts of petty reasons, for all sorts of vindictive reason. point blank and period. So people, the moral of the story is this. When I talk and I tell you that this is the Fox channel, this is the channel that brings truth, this is the channel that people listen to, people, once again, this is yet another perfect example. So therefore, know who is who, which part is where, point blank and period. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like I say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up. Now, before I move to the next part of my video, please subscribe to my next channel. It is called Jamaica Dancehall Source. And people, I have started uploading news items on that channel also. And I'll be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this video. And also, please subscribe to this channel. And when you subscribe, please press the notification bell or icon. And also press all in the option. Now, the next thing that is popping in the news is an incident that occurred in a place called Fletcher's Land. We are speaking about downtown Kingston in which a man and his name is Janai Dixon, O-C-A-K-A Titiman, he was taken out by the Popo. Now people, first thing first, like I've always said, be very careful of the energy that you put out there. Be very careful of the name in which you use because it can come back to haunt you and specifically the bodies that you do. Now people, in this case, this man's OC, this man's alias, Tittyman, Janai Dixon. So we have a couple of other Tittyman and people. We are speaking about the brother of Mr. Coke Dodos. We are speaking about Michael Christopher Coke. His reputation, his name, Tittyman. And then there was an incident in 2017 in which a person and his name is Tajay James. He slapped away three persons in a church at some sort of funeral. He was also charged for M-U-R-D-E-R. So people, I am just saying, be very careful of the name that you choose because that name and mostly your reputation, it follows you. And there's a thing called karma. So therefore, if you call yourself gun drunk, gun dog, gun bag, you know, so the popo, they are going to look at you differently. So people, fast forward, this incident occurred like about 5.50 in the morning, crack of dawn. It is said that the Popo, a military team, JCF, JDF, they went to the house of this person in Fletcher's land and they knocked on the door and they basically made an entry, whether they kick off the door, whatever the case is. And based on the accounts of the sister or the family member, they claim that Mr. Tittyman, he was sleeping, he was in his bed. And they heard the Popo ask him, if you have any sorts of tool, hand it over right now. And before any kind of response, it is said that they heard all sorts of loud explosion. As a matter of fact, he told that said family member to go outside and look outside of the house. Don't look in at the house where this incident is taking place. And she claims that she heard all sorts of E-X-P-L-O-S-I-O-N. Now, people, like I've always said, there is always three to four to five sides of the story. So we are talking about the military team side, we are talking about the family of Mr. Tittyman, and we are also speaking about the truth. Because when you listen to the Popo, their account it is polar opposite. Based on what the Popo is saying, they are saying that they tried to enter and there was some sort of confrontation, RE shootout, and him pull all sorts of tool upon the military team and then return fire and after the smoke clear. People, you know the regular script that we always hear in Jamaica. They've been using it since 1980. Some people are speaking about at least a script that is at least four decades old. So people, I say this to say that I am not saying that what the Popo say is true or lie, or what the daughter or what the sister or what the family member say is true or lie. Me just I give you all sides of the story. So anyways, based on the popo, after the confrontation and them take him out, 
they recovered a nine millimeter i think a glock with at least six rounds some people you know that in the comments investigating right now some people you know that if you bring any sorts of crime scene expert and they do some sort of investigation they would know if what the poor poor say is true or lie however people does it really matter now people also based on the account of the family member she claimed that the poor poor they were asking her all sorts of questions with all sorts of incident in which Mr. Titiman was allegedly involved and she told him that she needs her lawyer she is not saying anything now people, when we list the incidents like this on a regular basis, we see say, the stories, they always clash. They are always polar opposite. We are talking about black and white. No sorts of grey. It is from one extreme to the next. The poor poor say white and the family members say black. So therefore, there's always some sort of conflict. There's always some sort of discrepancy, big time. Now the truth and the fact is that a lot of times in these garrisons, these persons, they are crime producers. They are creating havoc in the community. And the people them uphold them for a few, especially and specifically the family members. However, sometimes when they are some broke gangsters and they are not bringing in any sorts of money or even the crime that they are doing, it is not beneficial to that neighborhood or that sorts of garrison. Then the people them start to turn. So people, it seems as if the people them turn and them start with the soldier and the poor poor, the military team, all sorts of credible information. So therefore, even if them go out the house and he did not have a tool on him, or even if the tool was in some sort of closet, he was going to get it because this was his judgment day, point blank and period. So people, I say this to say that if you know that your reputation is that of a bad man, of a gangster, and you're out there every day doing wrong a hundred times. And the one time that them catch you, you basically confess and gave your life to Christ. People, you are going to pay for the deeds that you did in the past. Point blank and period. So therefore, if the poor poor take him out and he is a gangster or he is a thug or he is a murderer, they should not be crying. They should be happy because people, the only thing they should have asked themselves is, why didn't we go also? Because the truth and the fact is that, if you are facilitating any sorts of criminal or any sorts of criminal activity, you too should be held liable in whichever way the poor poor deem to be right. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like I say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up.